Friday. Thought we would do something pretty simple today. A few months back, I don't know if you remember, I did an unboxing of this cassette. And this was in a Microwave Plus box. Even though it was sold as a cassette and as a Visions piece, this one in 1984 was sold as Microwave Plus. In the box that this came in, there was a pamphlet. There are microwave recipes in the back. Deluxe omelet, chicken Chinese stir fry, they're all for microwave corningware. I thought we would do microwave Manhattan clam chowder. And that is a thing. If you Google Manhattan clam chowder, people are microwaving it. But are they microwaving it in corningware? It says to use a one and a quarter quart casserole. I don't have one of those. We're going to use our country corn flour one and a half quart saucepan. I don't often follow instructions, but we're going to follow these exactly, except for the very last thing. So it's not exactly. It might be exactly. I want to taste it first. It says a quarter teaspoon of salt. Oh, hey, I'm ahead of myself. Let's go through the uh, ingredients. Microwave Manhattan clam chowder. One slice of bacon cut into half inch pieces. One small red potato, about three quarters of a cup. That's what I have here. Two tablespoons of chopped onion. Two tablespoons of chopped celery. Two tablespoons of green pepper. A teaspoon of dried parsley flakes. A quarter teaspoon of salt. We're gonna save that till the end, just in case it doesn't need it. Uh, this is a six, six and a half can of minced chopped clams with juice. Now, I did buy some extra clam juice. I did buy some whole tomatoes. Just in case, after we've tried it, we want to add stuff, I might. And it says, one can, 12 ounces, vegetable cocktail juice. That means V8. V8. If you look at the old cans of V8 juice, this is 12 ounces. If you look at the old cans of V8, it actually says on the can, cocktail vegetable juice. That intrigued me using V8. Combine bacon, potato, onion, celery, green pepper, and parsley flakes. Four to five minutes on high, or until vegetables are tender, crisp. Add juice, undrained clams, and salt. Cover and microwave on high for three to four minutes. So we're talking under 10 minutes, excluding the prep time. Microwave Manhattan Clam Chowder. It looks good. Why is that funny? It's supposed to be two servings. Oh, it looks good. How hot do you think it is? It's not that hot. Huh. Let's try a potato, see if the potatoes are cooked. It's not as hot as I thought it would be. Watch, I'll burn my mouth now. You know, the potatoes are done. They're slightly crunchy. I wonder if I should um, microwave it for 30 more seconds. It does taste good. I'm going to nuke it just for another 30 seconds or 40 seconds. I nuked it for one more minute. Just because it wasn't that hot and the celery was still a bit crunchy. Stir it a little bit. Mm. 
All right, let's see. Let's see what the salt. Look, if it needs salt. Oh, it doesn't need salt at all. I am so glad I did not put salt in there. That's pretty darn tasty. Where's the potato? Mmm. That's delicious. Let me try a piece of celery and potato just to see. Celery is a little crunchy. Potatoes are perfect. I would gladly eat a bowl of this, honestly. And I'm going to. Manhattan clam chowder has been around since like the 1800s. Sometimes it was called New York clam chowder. It was called Fulton Street clam chowder. There's some pretty cool stuff if you Google information on Manhattan clam chowder. That's delicious. You know what I'm going to say? Thanks for joining me this Friday. Thanks for watching.